Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have a vintage unboxing. It's McFarland Toys Akira Tetsuo figure. So it comes in that typical bubble style packaging that McFarland used to pump out. And as you can see, it just shows everything. It says spawn.com at the bottom. And we get the artwork of Tetsuo up at the top here. Looking, looking pretty awesome. The back of the package is just like Kaneda's bike and Kaneda. It shows all the figures that McFarlane was pumping out back then at this time. And this was around 2000. And this is for you on-card vintage collectors here. So you just take this and just peel it all the way down. And just tear it all out. Tetsuo comes with a very long and flaccid looking piece here this is his arm getting out of control and just absorbing everything it touches the flat part sits at the bottom and then you got yourself the arm part let me focus in here for you you can see that plugs into the shoulder but look at all the sculpt work it looks freaking awesome tons of sculpted detail tons of paint i mean granted these things don't have a lot of articulation but the fact that they went all out in this arm is pretty freaking cool got the electronics and stuff all going up there you even got some uh it looks like looks like a toenail down there from or well fingernails because they're this is his arm but it's crazy here we got an up close look at tetsuo and the head sculpts i don't know if it's because mcfarland was trying to take a animated character and like add some realistic like design to it or if they're having issues taking 2d and turning them into 3d which should be the case because they're making a lot of uh, comic figures and stuff like that but certain angles this thing looks awesome but like straight on it looks a little bit weird but he's definitely pissed off he's got like the crazy like veins going up his neck because he's losing control of his powers and his body can't handle it his hair is all super uh super saiyan mode all looking awesome he's got some wrinkles in his head the eyes are just like just staring off to the side but that's because you know he's got his like cybernetic arm and everything like that this guy only has like five points of articulation his his head can move his arms both can move like so and then the wrist rotates but this one is like gummy in the wrist so if i twist it too much i guarantee i'm gonna break it but look at the sculpt work in detail in that arm looks amazing for slightly articulated statues McFarlane knew what he was doing and he was doing stuff ahead of his time he was doing like a two-tone there's two-tone like almost like cell shading throughout this figure let me see if I can get it to pick up on camera you can see it in his pants but yeah he's doing that like cell shading on the figures and they look awesome he's got those big old biker boots and then, of course, the cape. Cape's done really well. Even has, like, a hole through it. And this is actually very pliable. And it has the two-tone going on as well. It's all dirty and nasty looking on underneath. Even the back has the cell shading. So they didn't skimp out on the paintwork on the figure itself at all. I mean, they did a great job. I just wish back then he did more articulation. With hooking up the alternate arm, when I was trying to wedge out the other arm, I thought it was going to break, um, but it didn't. You know, that's pretty nice of a 20-something-year-old figure that doesn't break because the plastic getting brittle over time. But this grotesque arm looks awesome. I think I might have him displayed with this arm just because it's so freaking cool. And this is solid plastic, so there's no hollow plastic going on with these figures and that is awesome so there's a lot of weight and i mean it's it's tetsuo it looks freaking cool even the other arm you know for being all super cybernetic was great and here's the how they plug it in it's just a simple simple plug-in system right there but again it's like 
both arms look amazing, but I mean, I think this one stands out quite a bit. It's just him going crazy. I wish we would have got a couple different variations of him, but I mean, we get a bunch of, of uh, Kanedas and not enough Tetsuos. Once you start busting out the other figures from the line, you can set up a nice little scene and the figures look great together and different angles. These figures can pull off some really good shots. The faces, again, can come off as a little weird because they're like realistic, but not realistic. But these figures are phenomenal and I love them. I'm happy that I've toted them around for many years and I'm glad I'm opening them now to give them their own shelf to give them justice. And that really sums up my unboxing and review of McFarland's Toys Tetsuo figure. If you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as it'll mean the world to me. And hit the silver bell notification to know when I post up a new video. Make sure you guys check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. Website's down below. Promo code down below as well for you guys. So you can get some free shipping on anything you order from that website. And then there's the pre-order group that you can join in. It's a Facebook pre-order group. You join in and you can see what's coming out. A lot of imports like Medicom, uh, Storm Collectibles, Mafex, SH Figure Arts, Figma. I mean, I can go on. Plus there's some Mezcos in there and stuff like that. So join up. Keep an eye out of you know for what's coming out. If there's something that you like, pre-order it. You know, it allows you to stay in the know with collectibles because there's so many different factories and companies making figures. It's hard to keep up. And when you miss out paying those secondary market prices, it, it's, it sucks. So definitely keep an eye out by joining up the Toyco pre-order group. And I want you guys to most importantly have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.